Charges were first filed in October, but only came to light recently. The case could have a major impact on drivers as more new cars come with similar autopilot systems. I would assume for Rob Hayes has reaction from car experts. They're some of the trendiest cars on the road, packed with some of the most advanced technology. But Tesla's known worldwide for their autopilot features are at the heart of several deadly crashes. This one in Gardena claimed two lives back in 2019. Now the driver in that crash is facing vehicular manslaughter charges. The first time in the U.S. someone has been charged with a felony for using a car's semi-automated driving system. This person goes to jail for manslaughter? It's going to set a legal precedence, and this could be a big negative on autonomous cars. The problem, experts say, is that many people believe semi-autonomous vehicles like Tesla's are fully autonomous, that they can simply leave all the driving up to the computer. Well, think again. We're not there at all. Um, we are probably 10 years out, at least, from having fully autonomous vehicles on the road. Tracy Pearl is a University of Oklahoma professor of law specializing in driverless car technology. Part of the blame, she says, rests with Tesla's decision to use the name autopilot. It does give the impression that a car is going to drive itself. When the reality is that Tesla's at their current level of automation are nowhere close to that. Every state requires the driver to be in control of the vehicle at all times. Yet videos like this continue to pop up. People asleep or unconscious behind the wheel of Tesla's. In this case, last September, CHP officers had to position their vehicles in front of a Tesla when the woman behind the wheel was passed out. In the Gardena wreck, prosecutors say 27-year-old Kevin Riad was at the wheel of the Tesla when it left a freeway at a high rate of speed, ran a red light, and slammed into this Honda Civic. Gilberto Lopez and Maria Nieves Lopez were killed. Investigators say Tesla's autopilot feature was in use at the time. Tesla hasn't responded to our request for comment. Family members of both victims of the Gardena crash are now suing both Riyadh and Tesla. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.